Hello and welcome to the um, Great American Farming episode, um, I think number 12, I think number 12. So anyway, today we're going to have another demo and we're going to try out, um, because we use square baler, uh, square bales on this farm, I thought that I would try out this McHale 998 square baler uh, to see if it actually makes it into silage. It says it should do that, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll try it out, but first we need to get uh, cut some grass. So first a little mowing, and well I want to do like one pass, and then tethering, followed by baling and lastly wrapping, if it works. This is to try it out a bit. We don't have to cut a long piece of grass, we'll just cut it up to the middle part and then back. So and then we'll tether it. This is just to see if it works, if it turns the hay into silage. Not sure if you can. I don't not sure well I guess you need a certain percentage of uh, water in your hay to make into silage bales. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how the process works. Uh, so, Let's see. this is just a test. So just a short little bit here, and then tether it there, which I already said. Um, so anyway, it seems to be that we are making quite a good profit of the cows on this map. So at 76 cows we made 19,000, 18,000 or something. Uh, for, for the total mixed rations, and that's, that's very good, I think. Probably totally unrealistic as a lot of things in this game is, but well, I guess I can't really do anything about this. Lots of things I can change. Um, but the price of uh, milk I cannot change actually. Uh, I think it's sort of hard coded into the game. I could set, I could change one of the settings in the same thing. It's in the save games portions. It would let me. Um, um, and that would let me change the sort of I think it's something with in not intervals, it's but you can uh, it, there's a setting that affects the price of milk somehow but it's it's not a lot. I did my first Minecraft episode um, this morning and uh, it turned out quite long. I, I was trying to get more uh, sort of not a tutorial because it's not a tutorial, it's more like, more like a, uh, yeah, this is where you start, this is how, what you have to do, this is how you get a uh, crafting table, this is how you cook food, this is and so on and so on. So, mm, not like it wasn't a tutorial, more like a uh, maybe a beginner's guide. Uh, and I noticed that, that I actually been playing uh, older games so much that I didn't remember how to do some things. So, I didn't remember how to make an axe, which was sad that I forgot that because I made axe, makes axe, make axes, make axes. I'm not sure. Do you say that? Right. Anyway, mm, so well, it was fun. It turned was like an hour long. 
uh, <laughs> it was nice when I'm gonna upload it I was like oh YouTube is probably not let me won't let me upload this because it's 17 gigabytes but they, they did so an hour uh, translates into 17 gigabytes if you record it at the settings I do which is at uh, 4000 uh, 4000 bits per sec uh, I'm not sure but to get the quality and make it you want to see it so and that took quite a few hours to upload it it didn't matter because I, w I put it started uploading it and said everything wrote all the text and then we went with the kids to my in-laws which leave, they live about an hour and a half away from here and that was nice it was pretty much done when I got there it was uploaded and published so raise, turn off and fold and then we'll do some wind rowing but this is I, I know I've done a lot of this on this map and I hope you m m don't find it too boring that I do a lot of grass work uh, it sort of gets that way because um, it's sort of hard not to do grass work when you have cows on the map We get over here. Have a nice little window. See, unfold that one. See, did it take the entire? Oh, It's ringing now um, because I set up in the, in the dialog box, uh, box dialog window for the uh, developer. Uh, sorry, I'm suddenly loose and I can't remember stuff. And it's because I'm pretty tired. It's not that late here, but I really feel like going to bed and sleeping. And I actually fell asleep a little bit on the sofa before we put the kids to bed and I would like to continue sleeping um, but I'll do this video maybe a little farm uh, not farm soon. this is farm soon. Uh, maybe I'll do a little um, um, what do you say minecraft uh, perhaps I'm not sure maybe and then I'm gonna hit the bed hit the bed gonna hit the sack really early because I'm really sleepy and really tired and I don't need to sleep um, it's Saturday here and Saturday used to be going out and partying day um, but that feels like it was a long time ago before we had kids uh, anyway I wasn't very much of a party guy anyway but in a period of my life I did go out to partying a bit um, which in retrospect seems more like uh, a total waste of money actually uh, because why when you if you're a man when I was in, in my twenties if you're a man you go out to party to find someone right um, maybe women go out and partying just to to have fun uh, but yeah, I went out to find someone I didn't find them actually I found someone through the computer which is quite a common way today uh, well actually I once first saw my fiance in a place called Luna Storm which is a sort of it's a, like a Facebook Swedish Facebook long before Facebook arrived uh, and like a community um, and w when you used to log on to your page 
um, you could see pe the, the pictures of people that just logged on at the same time. So uh, one year, about seven years before we actually m ever met in real life, uh, I logged on to Lunastorm just the same time as my fiance did. <coughs> so I saw her picture, I thought she looked cute, and I said, hello. I wrote a message and she answered and then we kept in contact for seven years uh, first through Lunastorm and then the, that service disappeared and we kept contacting you via MSN uh, and seven years later we everything was finally matching up and we met and hit it off and um, Eight more years down, eight or nine, eight more years down the line. Here we are, together with two kids, two wonderful kids, and a house, and a really nice life. I like my life. And she bears, she actually doesn't have a problem with me playing games. And I'm not sure if that's the easy girl to find, but I found one. And that's good. I like it. I love it. I love my life, I love my family, I love my wonderful fiance and my wonderful two kids, uh, which some, of course they're kids so sometimes they drive me mad, but uh, I do love them. This is, this is probably the way I want to live my life. I'll never be rich, I never wanted to be rich. I have money enough to have a good life. Where do I put the uh, um, and I'm perfectly fine with it in this way. So that's it. Let's go out again and do some bailing. So 12 minutes is this video is up to 12 minutes. So I think this will be a pre pretty short episode. We'll um, start this bailing. bail and then go get the or demo or the McHale wrapper, square bail wrapper and we'll see if it actually turns this into silage. So I think we'll look at it but I if I get out here and go look at this bail it says hey It's really nice. I actually want to buy this. I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm going to afford it if I have to take a big load to buy it. But I think I will sell off my uh, small drum deer and I'll get this one instead. Because this is so good. I really like this. I still have to keep my big, uh, big drum deer because I don't think it this one can plow and cultivate um, the cultivator I have because it's quite a big one mm, but we'll see firstly I I am um, think I might uh, I'll probably set up some sort of goal if I make I say if I firstly make yeah, if I have 50,000 in, in my account no if I have hundred, let's see, it's hundred sixty-eight. If I have sixty-eight thousand in my account, then I sell off the small John Deere, and I will buy this one uh, with a loan. So I'll take out the loan. And I have to repay it, but I, it's probably worth it because this is so good. This is just so. I really, this is an amazing tractor, an amazing mod. This uh, baler, on the other hand, is. But it is amazing, it looks really good, amazing text, amazing uh, animations and you can open the sides and everything and it works perfectly fine except whenever you you reach the limit and you start with the next bail it tw like jumps a little bit. See it soon. Like that. And sometimes it will jump really literally, uh, it will once one thing I did, it actually went up in the air and flipped over and it was full. So 
do it. Keep turning it off. Unload. So we'll put this away and then we'll go get our McKeel wrapper. Hope it works. Uh, mostly because it would be cool to have the square base. Uh, we passed the farm on our way to our, my in-laws today. And uh, I can't remember the name. We actually went there like on a... Um, have farmers. Like, uh, if you translate it directly, it would be like farmer's day wait, where you can just go and see their equipment and they sell stuff of course um, but it's oh, too, uh, sorry about that um, and they sell stuff and then you could watch we, I was, we took the kids we thought they would be especially my son would be amazed by tractors and he was totally uninterested in tractors at all he wanted to sit on a stone, big like a big piece of rock, and he patted the, uh, the sheep a bit, and then he wanted to go home. So I, um, I, I was probably the one, one who had the most the best time looking at tractors. So my son didn't, and my daughter didn't like it at all. So eventually, we went just went home. Um, my son wanted to climb the silo bales, which I said he could, and he got really pissed because, uh, well, it's not a playground. You know, it's, it's dangerous, heavy, and uh, he was really mad at me because I didn't let him do that. But it, it passed, passed. Um, so anyway, uh, the farm we passed, they have. Um, so it's October now. They have a huge, I mean, and I mean huge amount of. Um, Silent bales outside, outside the uh, the farm, the barn, and they're all sort of the square bales. They're not the bales, square bales I've done here. They're more like um, every side is equally big, so it's like a cube, more like a cube bale, uh, and it's they're wrapped, and they have uh, they're wrapped in. Uh, white fabric and uh, plastic, uh, plastic, white plastic and uh, pink plastic, which um, pink here is and maybe uh, elsewhere too is the color used to uh, pink is a color used to for uh, um, raising awareness for uh, breast cancer. Um, so that's a few years ago you, there were pink bales everywhere as a part of the raising awareness for breast cancer initiative okay so and we here at the hair kale by i modeled it so it was just one so let's take a look at it i will put a link to it in my show in the descriptions of course pole bale looks cool quite big I wonder what this would set back in real life. I think it wasn't that expensive in farming simulator, uh, even before I modeled it. But we get it. to our farm and try it out and see if it actually turns it into silage bale. Uh, with a bale mod, uh, well bale extension mod, uh, it, it won't be, probably won't be silage at once, it will be fermenting and then a percentage uh, how far it's reached. And I think it takes two days to in-game day, in days for it to turn into silage. Um, but mm, that's cool. I wonder. I could probably, you could probably change this sign to some other graphics design in front. Or try to something have signs in the back. 
So I um, could probably change it to something else. Lights are really cool. I think this map, um, since last uh, last episode, before last episode, I changed to the, uh, the original version three. This map, uh, which is why all the barns disappeared and the way it changed and everything, and the silage in my silo bunker disappeared. Um, but as far as I can see, the rest of the map is the same. <coughs> There's no change to that one. That to that. So let's see. I'm guessing you should probably unfold this somehow, yes. And then you probably start it somehow. Let's see, maybe you should look at the help menu. Hold. Not sure why it would be. Um, would be. Okay. So it puts it up. Lifts it up. And then we start strapping. Okay, so we just went white at once. Oh, well. I guess you can temper everything. We'll go up to this one. Let's see if it puts it out. I guess it's quite a long wrapping process. Oh, this was some sort of automatic unload. There should be some sort of automatic unload function. I think I read it in the. Let's see if I can find my way to the wrapper page. Let's see. Press X to unfold drive to bail. Bail automatic oh, Okay, so it does not. Um, Not like a load function would be cool. So uh, let's get out and see if it turns into silage. So it's grass, it's fermenting. So I guess actually it does turn into silage. Oh, that's cool. Let's go to the next one. Takes quite a long time to to wrap them. This is sort of sad. What? Well, I have to look at this. It's a funny thing. You look at this one. Okay, so you get two hundred and thirty-nine pounds for that one. And if we load this one, see that. You get 82. So it's grass, it says it's A quality, uh, but not fermented, and you get a lot less that one than you got for the other one. If in real life you would probably try wrap to it in the correct manner. Oh, and that's not the correct manner. See that unload. So this takes quite some time to wrap them. But then again, I guess it's worth it in the I guess it's worth it eventually when it gets done fermenting into in day games. Now it looks from the inside. This is cool, we should probably 
take a screenshot of this. That as our badge, I mean, I say badge, I mean, it's probably not called a badge. Uh, that small picture you get when you uh, start out uh, this YouTube video. So we load that one, drop by up to this one. Also, if you wonder why I haven't released any more videos of the, um, the other map I was working on, uh, a French old stream stream app, uh, I sort of I have been playing a bit offline, uh, <laughs> offline, uh, uh, off when I wasn't recording it, but some um, sort of. I get so, so excited about this map that I sort of stopped st stopped thinking about the other map and didn't find it very interesting when I when I tried it out again. Um, so even though I like it, I played it a little bit last night, just like 15 minutes or so. Uh, it's a good map. It's really good map. I should be playing more on it, but this sort of I sort of got into this map a lot and another one wasn't as interesting so anyway uh, I'm gonna bail the rest of this and then I'm gonna collect it with our my bail trailer and uh, next time we'll see each other you will have a nice um, a couple of these nice bales sitting in, in our yard so anyway uh, thank you for watching and listening and I uh, hope to see you soon and um, Take care. Bye-bye.